Hydration is extremely important to keep your body's functions running efficiently. But what if your drinking water habits are not right? When it comes to drinking water, the ample quantity is not enough to take care of. You should also know the right way to drink water for better health. Most of us make common mistakes, such as drinking water while standing, and these kinds of mistakes can put us in trouble. Water intoxication. Overhydration and water intoxication happen when a person drinks more water than their kidneys can get rid of via urine. The amount of water is not the only factor. Time also plays a role. According to figures quoted in a 2013 study, the kidneys can eliminate about 20 to 28 liters of water a day, but they can remove no more than 0.8 to 1 liters every hour. To avoid hyponatremia, it is important not to outpace the kidneys by drinking more water than they can eliminate. The authors of the study report that hyponatremia symptoms can develop if a person drinks 3 to 4 liters of water in a short period. However, they do not give a specific time estimate. Signs of overhydrating According to the Mayo Clinic, urine color typically ranges from pale yellow to tea-colored, thanks to a combination of the pigment urochrome and the amount of water you drink. If your pee is clear more often than not, that's a sign that you're either drinking too much water in too short a time span and need to spread out your efforts, or you're taking in too many fluids overall. Low sodium levels may not cause noticeable symptoms when slightly decreased, says Suzanne Dixon, RD, a registered dietitian with the Mesothelioma Center in Portland, Oregon. But when they continue to drop due to drinking more than your body is capable of excreting, it can cause symptoms like bloating, headache, brain fog, and nausea. The kidneys have limitations of how much water they can excrete at a time, which is a maximum of 800 to 1,000 milliliters per hour, says Koskinen. Anything that exceeds that amount essentially waterlogs the body. Enter bloating. When the body can't rid itself of excess water, cells swell to accommodate it, and because the brain is enclosed in the skull, it leaves almost no room for any expansion, says Koskinen, which can cause headaches and brain fog. You may also feel nauseous if your body's water to sodium ratio is out of whack. When there's too much water in the bloodstream, your body might try to throw up the excess water to find balance again, says New York-based registered dietitian Jackie Arnett Elnahar, RD. Dehydrating drinks. Drinks and ingredients that act as diuretics, which are substances that increase urine production, may have a dehydrating effect if a person does not take care to balance them with adequate hydration from other sources. Drinks containing high amounts of alcohol, caffeine, and sugar are most likely to perform as diuretics in the body and promote dehydration. Alcohol acts as a diuretic in the body. This encourages the body to remove more fluid through urine than normal. As the body processes alcohol, it encourages extra urination to help remove alcohol and its waste products from the body quickly. If a person does not get enough hydration alongside their alcohol intake, the alcohol may cause dehydration. Generally, the higher the alcohol content of a beverage, the more dehydrating it can be. Caffeine can act as a mild diuretic in some instances. A small amount of caffeine may not be an issue for most people, though increasing caffeinated beverages may contribute to overall caffeine intake. While tea tends to have less caffeine than coffee, increased tea consumption can still contribute to a person's total amount of caffeine each day and yield dehydration. Additionally, many teas may also contain high levels of sugar from sweetened milk, sugars, or syrups, which may not be the most hydrating for quenching thirst. Soda often contains caffeine and high amounts of sugars. The consumption of a cold soda may feel refreshing at first, but likely will not satisfy a person's thirst in the long run. Research from 2016 found that the sensation of a cool, carbonated beverage makes people think that the beverage quenches thirst better. This can lead to drinking less additional liquid after having a drink, such as a soda, which could worsen the dehydration effects. 
Energy drinks generally contain high levels of caffeine and sugar and may include other added ingredients that stimulate the kidneys and act as a diuretic. Drinking while eating There's so much misinformation out there on this topic, says Ali Miller, dietitian and owner of Naturally Nourished. But yes, this practice can do more harm than good. Excessive liquids during meals can lead to bloating, indigestion, and even nutrient malabsorption. Ideally, Miller says, your stomach likes to maintain an acidity level of 1 to 2 on the pH scale, which helps break down proteins, stimulates the release of digestive enzymes, aids in the absorption of vitamins like B12, and otherwise helps turn food into a slurry-like solution that makes digestion easier. But when you drink during meals, you slow down the entire process, leading to bloating and less than optimal digestion. For healthy digestion, limit yourself to 8 ounces of water at mealtime. Otherwise, hydrate between meals. Drinking up to half your body weight in fluid ounces per day, for example, for a 130-pound woman, that's about 65 ounces or 8 cups, can help you fend off cravings that are really just dehydration in disguise, eliminating the need to chug before meals. Drinking tap water You may think you are tapping into clean drinking water when you turn on the faucet. What you're really tapping into is a cocktail of unwanted contaminants, deadly toxins, and organisms. Lead toxicity Lead and other heavy metals can make their way into your tap water through corrosion of the pipes in your plumbing system. The consumption of lead has been linked to severe developmental delays and learning disorders in children. Aluminum and other heavy metals have been linked to nerve, brain, and kidney damage. Chlorine Since chlorine kills microorganisms, water treatment facilities use it as a disinfectant. However, chlorine has toxic effects on the human body. Chlorine has been identified as a leading cause of bladder cancer. It is also associated with breast cancer, birth defects, asthma, and premature skin aging. Fluoride Research shows that fluoride can do more harm than good to the body, even though the U.S. government requires fluoride to be added to the water supply to prevent dental problems. Fluoride found in tap water has actually been shown to damage tooth enamel. It can also suppress immune and thyroid function. Pharmaceutical drugs Recent investigations have found that certain pharmaceutical drugs have made their way into municipal water systems. Drugs ranging from birth control pills to antibiotics, antidepressants, and other medications are finding their way into our drinking water. Drinking water while standing. It is not recommended to drink water while standing as it can lead to several health issues. While you are standing, your body and tissues are in a state of tension. This leads the water to rapidly flow down your body, causing a disruption in the existing balance of fluids. Here are some side effects of drinking water while standing. Indigestion. Drinking water while standing can wreak havoc on your digestive system. That is because when you stand and drink water, it goes with great force and speed through the food canal and falls on the lower stomach directly, which is harmful. Dr. Rustke says, the nerves get tensed when one drinks water rapidly while standing, which disrupts the balance of fluids, causing an increase in toxins and indigestion. Risk to your lungs. When you drink water while standing, the required nutrients and vitamins don't reach the liver and digestive tract. When you stand and drink water, it travels through the system really fast, which risks your lungs and heart function because the oxygen level gets disturbed this way. Kidney Problems It has been found that our kidneys filter better while sitting. While standing and drinking water, the fluid tends to pass through without any filtration to one's lower stomach under high pressure. This causes the water impurities to settle in the bladder and damage the functioning of the kidneys, says Dr. Rustke. It can even cause urinary tract disorders. But is there a right way to drink water? Well, there is. The correct way of drinking water is to sit down on a chair and keep the back erect while drinking water. This way, nutrients reach the brain and improve brain activity. 
Not only this, your digestion will be improved and you will not feel bloated.